Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how can we send email alerts when a DAX succeeds uh, in Airflow. So let's start. So first of all, we go to our Airflow config file. Uh, this is a basic DAG that I created to perform this task. And first of all, we need to go to airflow.config file and we move to this SMTP section and we define the smtp.gmail.com configuration as we are using gmail as our host and we keep it true and this will be false and 587 is the port that is used with this host and you can define your username which is your email and the password would be a password that would be generated from uh, this website uh, myaccount.google.com slash app passwords uh, if you want to see this in detail then then you can uh, watch my last video which is on email failure and email retry alerts so i have shown all those steps in detail but i am not covering in this video i am directly moving to what is aimed for this video so you can generate the app password for it and you can paste it here and you can uncomment this these two th variables and your functionality will work uh, the other way of doing this is to not to mention the username and password here and rather going to the airflow and go to this admin tab and from here you go to connections and search here sm TP default if it is not uh, listed here then you can create your own from this plus button and I have it so let me show you quickly you can mention all your configurations here and SMTP default, default will be your connection ID and email will be the connection type and uh, you will put all your details host and uh the schema is optional you can define your email which is your password or which is your login uh and the password would be the app password that you will get from this website so and the port is defined here you can do both the ways this is much secure than that way and as far as concerned about this smtp default variable you will need to configure this in email connection id variable and you will be referring that uh, connection here and so let's move to the DAG section after doing that you can restart your airflow i have already done that so the first thing is you need to import an you need to import this plugin from Airflow, which is a send email function from this uh, airflow.utils.email. And then you need to have your callback function. Okay, so this function should be called when our DAG succeeds. And how can we call it? To call it, we mentioned this here in our DAG, which is on success callback, which is provided by Airflow. So you can define that in our in your DAG object. And if you define this, make sure that you don't make spelling mistakes. So when you define it here, then you can give the callback name, which is send success email in our case, which is sending email using this email function, which we imported from here. So let's save it and run our deck. So it is running.
Okay, so you can see I have received this Airflow task succeeded email uh, when a DAG succeeded using that callback which I created here. So you can do that the same same way and this is how we send email alerts when a DAG succeeds. So this is it for this video. For next video, I will come up with some with another exciting topic. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching.